Hawks is in the saddle. Number three is Northern Mist, owned by Charlie Weaselhead, Warner J. Many Bears, and Max Gibb. Godfrey Weaselhead is the trainer. Ryan Nelson is in the irons. Number four, Roses for Suzette, owned and trained by Clifton Dennis. Lorena Bougeau is the jockey. Number five is Anna's Image. Phil Dennis, the owner. Travis Robson, the trainer. Jose Orocha in the saddle. And number six is Trust Ella, owned and trained by Marsha Willard. Andre Powell is the jockey. Race number three over distance, about five and a half furlongs. Post time will be approximately seven minutes. Post time, approximately seven minutes. I'd like to remind you that it takes some great sponsors to run an event like the Rocky Mountain Turf Club. The sponsors are all in the program. And if you're in the gate, two moves in, five is in the gates, three on the way, number six will be last to load. There at the post. They're off. Race number three over distance. Five and a half furlongs. Coming down the long chute towards the grandstand. Up through the middle, we have Silver's Last Dance and Northern Missile. Silver's Last Dance and Northern Missile are up in front. Now on the outside comes Trustella. It's a bunch as they come right in front of the grandstand. On the outside by ahead is Trustella. On the rail we've got Silver's Last Dance. Into the turn, Silver's Last Dance and Northern Missile are battling for the lead. Silver's Last Dance on the inside, Northern Missile on the outside. In the third spot we've got ourselves Trustella. And then it's Roses for Suzette. Wild Arch and trailing is Anna's image. Down that backstretch, it's Northern Missile now moving to the lead. Silver's Last Dance is second. In third spot, we have Wild Arch. And in fourth spot, it's Roses for Suzette. In the turn, Northern Missile now is out in front by a length and a half over Silver's Last Dance. Out of the turn and the race for the finish line. Northern Missile is still the leader, but now moving hard on the outside is Wild Arch. Wild Arch moves into the lead. It's going to be close at the finish line. It's Wild Arch, Silver's Last Chance, Roses for Suzette, and Northern Missile. Results are unofficial. Please hang on to your paramitchell tickets until they have been declared official. Thank you. The official running time, 109.08. The official running time, 109.08. Unofficial order of finish, the winner, number one, Wild Arch. Second, the number two horse, Silver's Dance. Roses for Suzette, the number four horse was third. And Northern Missile finished fourth. Unofficial.
Results have been declared official. The winner was number one, Wild Arch, finishing second, the number two horse, Silver's Last Dance. Roses for Suzette was third and fourth at the wire, the number three horse, Northern Missile. Official, official, official. And moving into the winner's circle, the official winner of our third race, the number one horse, Wild Arch, owned by DLK Racing Stable. Dean Cameron, the trainer, Garfield Gordon, the jockey. The official winner, race number three, the number one horse, Wild Arch. For Garfield Gordon, his back-to-back -back winners today. And here are the payouts for our third race. The winner, number one, Wild Arch, paid seven sixty to win, two sixty to place, two twenty to show. Number two, Silver's Last Dance, paid three sixty to place, two thirty to show. Roses for Suzette paid two twenty to show. The Exactor paid twenty one ninety. The Tri paid forty seven thirty, and the Superfecta paid thirty nine eighty. Wild Arch paying 760, 260, 220. Silver's Last Dance paid 360, 230. Number four, Roses for Suzette paid 220. The Exactor paid $21.90. The Tri paid 47.30. And the Superfecta paid $39.80. Thank you.
The horses are moving out of the paddock area onto the track for the running of race number four. It's over a distance of about five and a half furlongs. The number one horse, Formal Tux, owned by Andre Peugeot. Chandra Clark is the trainer, Blanford Stewart the jockey. Number two, the hybrid, owned by Ed Ackerstrom. Robert Gwilliam is the trainer. Juan Jose Apango is in the saddle. Number three, Lucky Break, is owned by Lyle Magnuson. Lyle does the training, and Lorena Bougeau will do the riding. Number four, the Jersey Shadow, owned by Kevin Oberholzer. Kevin is the trainer, and Jose Orocha is in the saddle. Number five, Golden Cowboy, owned and trained by Jacqueline Smith. Juan Apango is riding. And number six, Shock Azulu. Terrence Bird Rattler, the owner trainer. Odine A. Edwards is the jockey. Race number four, over a distance of about five and a half furlongs. Post time will be approximately eight minutes. Post time, approximately eight minutes. The horses are loading, one and four in position. Number two on the way. The five horses in the gate, waiting on three and six. Three is in position, and they're six. They're at the post. They're off, race number four over distance, about five and a half furlongs. Coming down the chute towards the grandstand, up through the middle, Jersey Shadow and Golden Cowboy battling for the lead. Jersey Shadow is the leader on the middle, on the inside, Jersey Shadow. Then we have ourselves Golden Cowboy. Third on the rail is Formal Tux. As they go into the turn, Jersey Shadow is still the leader. Golden Cowboy is in second spot. In third spot, we've got Formal Tux. Around the turn, it's still Jersey Shadow, the leader. Jersey Shadow, the leader. Golden Cowboy, second on the outside. Formal Tux is third on the rail. Then we have the hybrid. It's Lucky Break, and trailing is Shaka Zulu. It's Jersey Shadow as they go down the back stretch. In second spot, Lucky Break. In third spot, Formal Tux. Jersey Shadow, Golden Cowboy, and Formal Tux, the top three. In fourth spot, we have the hybrid. As they come out of the turn now, the race for the finish line, Jersey Shadow is the leader. Second up through the middle is Formal Tux. Third is Golden Cowboy. At the wire, it's going to be tight between Jersey Shadow and Formal Tux. Very close in there at the finish. Please hang on to your paramutual tickets. We have been asked for a photo for the finish. A photo finish. Please hang on to your paramutual tickets. We did have a horse claimed in our fourth race, the number five horse, Golden Cowboy. The new owner is Brady Schultz, Colton Mead, the trainer. Again, the number five horse in the fourth race, Golden Cowboy, was claimed. The new owner is Brady Schultz, Colton Mead, the trainer.
The official running time, 108.01. .01. The official running time, 108.01. .01. Unofficially, the photo shows the number four horse, Jersey Shadow, over number one, Formal Tux. Finishing third, the number two horse, The Hybrid, and Golden Cowboy, the five horse, was fourth. In the winner's circle, the unofficial winner of race number four, the number four horse, Jersey Shadow, owned by Kevin Oberholzer. Kevin is the trainer, and Jose Orocha in the saddle. And the results have been declared official. The winner, number four, Jersey Shadow, finishing second, the number one horse, Formal Tux. Third of the wire, the number two horse, the hybrid, and the Golden Cowboy, number five, finished fourth. Here are the prices the horses paid. The winner, number four, Jersey Shadow, paid eleven ninety to win, five twenty to place, three twenty to show. Number one, Formal Tux, paid four twenty to place, two eighty to show. And the number two horse, the Hybrid, paid four sixty to show. The Exactor paid sixty nine ninety. The Tri paid two hundred seventy four dollars even, and the Superfecta paid five hundred forty six dollars and 45 cents. Again, Jersey Shadow paying 11.95, 20.320. Formal Tux paid 420, 2.80. The Hybrid paid 460. The Exactor paid 69 dollars 90 cents. The Tri paid 274 dollars even, and the Superfecta paid 546 dollars and 45 cents. And we're getting ready now for the stick horse racing. 
And while that gets ready, we will remind you that we've got Warrior Relay Racing coming to the Rocky Mountain Turf Club September 28th and 29th. We hope you'll keep that in mind. Mark down the dates. Warrior Relay Racing, the 28th and 29th of September. Heat number one, stick horse racing. The junior jockeys and jockettes heading out to the starting line. your mark, get set, go. Oh, one horse down. And one slow getting out of the gate. Heat number two, about to get underway. On your mark, get set, go.
That'll be a fast time, that one. Looks like heat number three. On your mark, get set, go! The horses now on the track for the running of race number five. It is over a distance about five and a half furlongs. Number one is Hug the Money. Bill Schmidt, the owner and trainer. Blanford Stewart, the jockey. Number two is El Dorado Storm, owned by Charlie Weaselhead, Warner J. Many Bears and Max Gibb. Travis Robson, the trainer. Jose Orocha is in the irons. Number three, Saburo's Grace, owned by Barbara Norlander. Lyle Magnuson, the trainer, Garfield Gordon in the irons. Number four is Crown Ruler, owned and trained by Gary Marks, Trevor Simpson, the jockey. Number five, Little JP, owned by Max Gibb and Rose Rossi. Lyle Magnuson, the trainer, Juan Apango is in the saddle. And number six, Christine's Jack, owned by Jacqueline Smith. Jacqueline does the trainer, and Andre Powell will do the riding. Race number five over distance, about five and a half furlongs. Post time will be approximately seven minutes. Post time, approximately seven minutes. The horses are now loading. One, two, four are in the gate. Three moving in. Waiting on five and six. Six is in, five's in. They're at the post. They're off. Race number five underway over distance, about five and a half furlongs. Coming down the stretch towards the grandstand on the inside, hug the money, hug the money. Now up through the middle is El Dorado Storm on the outside, Little JP. As they come in front of the grandstand, Little JP moves to the lead. El Dorado Storm is second. On the rail, third is hug the money. In fourth spot, we've got Christine Jack. Into the turn, Little JP is the leader out in front. Hug the money's second spot. El Dorado Storm is third. Then we have Christine's Jack. It's Saburo's Grace, and trailing is Crown Ruler. 
Down the back stretch, little JP is out in front by two and a half. Over Hug the Money on the rail. Now moving into second spot, it's El Dorado Storm. It's little JP the leader. El Dorado Storm is trying to close the gap. Third is Hug the Money. In fourth spot, it's Christine's Jack. Little JP well out in front as they come out of the turn and the race for the finish line. Little JP in front. El Dorado Storm is in second spot as they come in front of the grandstand. Little JP doing things well. Little JP, it's going to be Christine's Jack, Sub Burl's Grace, and it was very close in there. Please hang on to your paramutual tickets until results have been declared official. Thank you. A photo has been called for. Please hang on to your paramutual tickets. A photo has been called for. Official running time, 106.50. Official running time, 106.50. Exactly and we do have a jockey objection, three on five. An objection, three on five, and a photo. Hang on to your paramutual tickets. Into the winner's circle, the unofficial winner 
of race number five, the number five horse, Little J.P., owned by Max Gibb and Rose Rossi, Lyle Magnuson, the trainer, Juan Apango, in the saddle. The unofficial winner, race number five, the number five horse, Little J.P. And unofficially, we have a dead heat for place between the three and six horse. A dead heat between Saburo's Grace and Christine's Jack. In fourth spot, the number two horse, El Dorado Storm. Again, unofficially, the winner, number five, Little JP. A dead heat for place between Saburo's Grace and Christine's Jack and finishing fourth, the number two horse, El Dorado Storm. Still unofficial. And here are the prices the horses paid. Little JP paid four ninety to win, two eighty to place, two ten to show. So Burroughs Grace paid three thirty to place, three thirty to show. Christine's Jack paid four dollars even, five ninety. The Exactor paid eight dollars ninety cents. The Try paid seventy three ninety. And the Superfecta paid fifty-four eighty. We'll check those prices again, ladies and gentlemen. Little JP paid four ninety two eighty two ten. So Burroughs Grace paid three thirty to place three thirty to show. Christine's Jack paid four dollars even to place five ninety to show. The Tri paid seventy three ninety. The Exactor paid eight dollars and ninety cents. And again, because of the dead heat, we did have two exactor payouts. Five and three paid eight ninety. Five six paid eleven dollars even. The tries. Five six and three paid seventy three dollars and ninety cents. Seventy three ninety. And the other try five three and six paid sixty one dollars even. Hopefully, you've got that straight. Race number five. A photo finish. We did have an objection, and we did have a dead heat, something a little unusual. Thank you.
Candy scramble time right down in front, ladies and gentlemen. Candy scramble time. Horses are on the track for the running of race number six. It is over a distance of about six furlongs. The number one horse, Rattlesnake Jack, owned by Jug Handle Ranch. Darcy Smith is the trainer. Ryan Nelson is the jockey. The number two horse, Benny Bob, is owned by Roy Romano. Clinton Rycroft is the trainer. Jose Orocha is in the saddle. Number three, Punch Lights Out, owned by Patricia Peugeot, Chandra Clark, the trainer, Andre Powell in the irons. Number four is Pepperhead, owned by Darlene Roan, Les Adams, the trainer, Garfield Gordon in the saddle. And number five, we need VLTs, please, owned by Tansley Maya Shiro. Tansley does the training, and Lorena Bujo will do the riding. Race number six over a distance of about six furlongs. Post time will be approximately seven minutes. Post time of Friday. They're at the post. They're off. Race number six over a distance, about six furlongs. A five horse field as they come down the long stretch to the grandstand. Rattlesnake Jack on the inside up through the middle. Benny Bob on the outside. We need VLTs, please. As they come in front of the grandstand, in the middle, it's Benny Bob by ahead. In second spot on the outside, we've got, we need VLTs, please. Benny Bob is on the inside. As they hit that turn on the outside, we need VLTs, please. Third spot is Rattlesnake Jack, along with Poncho Lights out. And trailing is Pepperhead. 
around that turn and onto the back stretch on the outside. We need VLTs, please, by ahead over Benny Bob. In third spot, it's Poncho Lights Out. Then we have Rattlesnake Jack and Pepperhead. It's still Benny Bob on the rail as the leader. In second spot, we've got Poncho Lights Out. As they continue around, Benny Bob is the leader on the inside. We need VLTs, please. Benny Bob, it's Rattlesnake Jack and trailing Pepperhead. The race for the finish line now on the outside. We need VLTs, please. Takes the lead. It's Benny Bob second. We need VLTs, please. Benny Bob looks like Rattlesnake Jack third and Poncho Lights out fourth. Results unofficial. Please hang on to your paramutual tickets until they have been declared official. Thank you of race number six have been declared official. The winner, number five, we need VLTs, please. Second, the number two horse, Benny Bob. Third was number one, Rattlesnake Jack. And fourth at the wire, the number three horse, Poncho Lights Out. And moving into the winner's circle, the official winner of race number six, the number five horse, we need VLTs, please. Owned and trained by Tavlitz, Travel, Tansley Myashiro, that's Tansley Myashiro, Lorena Bujo riding her second win of the afternoon. We need VLTs, please. And here are the prices the horses paid for race number six. The winner, number five, we need VLTs, please, paid $16.90 to win, $6.10 to place, $2.70 to show. Number two, Benny Bob paid $2.80 to place, $2.10 to show. Rattlesnake Jack paid $2.40. The Exactor paid $32.80. The Tri paid $43.90. And the Superfecta paid $147.35. Again, we need VLTs, please. Paid 1690, 610, 270. Benny Bob paying 280, 210. Rattlesnake Jack paid 240. The Exactor, 3280. The Tri, 4390. And the Superfecta, $147.35. Our upcoming seventh race, the last race of the afternoon. We're back next weekend. And don't forget, we're around weekends through October 14th. Mark down on your calendar September 28th and 29th, Warrior Relay Racing. Thank you.
Horses are moving onto the track for the running of race number seven over a distance of about six furlongs. The number one horse is Full Out Fire, owned and trained by Travis Robson. Jose Orocha is the jockey. Number two, Altitude, owned by DLK Racing Stable and KBC Racing. Dean Cameron, the trainer, Trevor Simpson, the jockey. Number three, Remember the Alamo. George Clark is the owner, Chandra Clark, the trainer, Andre Powell is in the saddle. Number four, Gio Cometti, owned by Tristian Dillip Kipp. Mike Daychief is the trainer. Garfield Gordon is in the irons. Number five is Hey Jasper. John Hallowich is the owner. Jocelyn Giesbrook, the trainer. Orlando Foster is in the saddle. Number six is Flash of Glory, owned by Jennifer Scout. Nolan Littlebear, the trainer. Ryan Nelson is aboard. And number seven is Silent Declaration, owned by Terrence Bird Rattler. Terrence does the training, and Odine Edwards is in the saddle. Race number seven, over a distance of about six furlongs, post by the seven horse. They're at the post. They're off, race number seven, over a distance of about six furlongs. Coming down the long chute towards the grandstand, up through the middle, it's altitude. On the inside, we have full out fire. As they come in front of the grandstand, altitude is the leader. Second on the rail is Gio Cometti. And moving up on the outside is Remember the Alamo and Silent Declaration. It's Gio Cometti as they hit that first turn. Second on the outside is altitude. In third spot, we have Silent Declaration. Fourth spot is full out fire. Out of the turn, onto the back stretch, Gio Cometti, the leader. In second spot, we have Altitude. And then moving up into third spot on the rail is Full Out Fire, along with Silent Declaration. Then we have Flash of Glory, Hey Jasper, and trailing is Remember the Alamo. As they hit that turn, Altitude is now the leader. In second spot, Gio Cometti. Altitude is out in front by three lengths. Gio Cometti is in the second spot, but now being challenged by Full Out Fire. Full Out Fire moves into second spot. The leader, Altitude. Full Out Fire is second. Gio Cometti is third. At the wire, it's going to be Altitude. Full Out Fire. Hey, Jasper. Flash of glory. And the results are unofficial. Please hang on to your paramutual tickets until they have been declared official. Our final race of the afternoon. Remember where we're and we do have a photo for fourth place. Unofficial. Unofficial order of finish, the winner, number two out. And in the winner's circle, the official winner of race number seven, the number two horse, Altitude, owned by DLK Racing Stables and KBC Racing. Dean Cameron, the trainer, Trevor Simpson, doing the riding. The official winner, race number seven. We'll be back again next weekend. We hope that you'll join us, ladies and gentlemen.